That's how I'm starting my stagecoach vlog, Cal. It feels fitting. Wow, why have I never thought to put you guys two and a half years in this house, Cal? Whoa. And I just realized I have a great vlogging spot up here. How have I not realized? Oh my. You guys, we've got not only one little ledge to vlog on, we got two, three, four and five all up here. Anyways, hello, as I said, I am leaving for Stagecoach today, which yes, we did go to, uh, I almost called it Vlogmas. We went to Coachella weekend one, weekend two, and now we're going to Stagecoach. I truly cannot believe this, and also right when we get back from Stagecoach, we have a few days, and then Cal and I are going to Vegas to celebrate his birthday. This month has been absolutely crazy and so much fun. I know all the vlogs have just been pretty much me partying lately because that has been my life. I'm feeling very blessed and grateful. I'm having a really fun time, and I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. So yes, we're going to Stagecoach today. In case you guys didn't know, I'm actually a really big country music fan and I have been since I was a kid. Specifically the Carrie Underwood Some Hearts album, which came out, right? It was her first album after winning American Idol. So probably like 2005, six? Let me see. When did Carrie Underwood Some Hearts album come out? Okay, 2005 is when that album came out. I got it on CD and I listened to it every song, front, back, front, back, front, back. I think that's just genuinely the album that I know every single word to every single song most in my life. Like if I could only sing one album to save my life, it would be that album. But since then, I've fallen in love with country music. My dad listened to like a lot of, a lot of Keith Urban growing up. And I've never been a stagecoach before, but Carrie Underwood is performing, which is exciting. Marin Morris, Luke Combs. It's gonna be really fun. So I cannot wait. I've got my cowboy boots packed. I've got my cowboy hats packed. I'm just gonna share this with you. My extensions have been growing out like crazy. Like my hair is growing so quick. Quickly. Let me show you guys one because they're growing out. Oh, they're like back here Okay, so do we see like they are grown out back here? So they all keep like twisting around and I can like hear the plastic whenever I move in my ears And I can't get them moved up till next week So I just keep hearing like plastic noises whenever I move but yes, it was fantastic because I got back from weekend two I did leave on Sunday morning last weekend, which was nice because I got back and had Sunday to relax, which I think I'm gonna do that this weekend too. We're going with the big group. It's gonna be lots of fun. I'm gonna go pick up Loshi and we're gonna hit the road. So let's go. Yeehaw! I can finally use my Southern accent. This is great. Go buy my chicken nuggets. Sit. That's not a sit. That's my good girls. That's my good girls. I love you guys. Bye. You guys, we just got to the pretty basic stagecoach house. We are still coming up with the, the hashtag. Right now we're thinking PB, hashtag PB yeehaw, hashtag yeehaw PB. We will keep you updated on what we're feeling, but this is genuinely the biggest, nicest house I've ever seen in my life. It's just Loshi. Loshi's just got a bunch of alcohol right now. I'll give you the full house tour because this is like a massive, really nice house. But right now we're setting everything up. I wasn't recording any of that. I was <laughs> As you just saw, I forgot to record all that. Alicia was gonna give us a tour, but I'll show you over here. We've got all these little goodies that the person who owns the house set out for us. All, all the alcohol, lol. All these cute little goodies from like bucket hats to like a little book about things in the area. We've got like information, water bottles. Alicia said that she likes dark chocolate almonds, so we got dark chocolate almonds here. We've got hand sanitizer. Most importantly, condom lollipops. Beautiful, you know. Use protection, ladies and gents and whoever else. All right, over here, what Alicia was gonna show you, but she's gone now, so I will show you. Oh, she's back, she's back, she's back. Don't worry, I'm saving the, the honors for hey, you. Hey y'all, they stocked the fridge for us. Us, uh, yeah. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Oh. What I say ye, you say ha, ye. Ha. I didn't say fucking ye. <laughs> oh my God. Eggs. Eggs, bacon, bacon, more eggs. Oh, thank God. Lettuce, avocado, avocado. free shavacadoos. We got fruit. We got Gatorade. This is amazing. I'm very excited. And over here, which is what I was doing before I grabbed the camera, like just look at this flipping house. We've stocked the alcohol. And now in the wine fridge, I'm stocking all the Red Bull. We've got so much Red Bull, which is going to keep me going. So let me organize it and I'll come back. Here we go. Okay guys, I organized this drink fridge. We've got regular sugar-free. <gasps> I mixed these up in the back. That's eh, okay. We've got regular sugar-free. We've got summer apricot, or no, strawberry apricot, watermelon, and then tropical. And then we've got more down here. It looks so good. Over here, we've got all the alcohol for the whole house. We've got snacks over this way. The kitchen is nice and big, and I don't know what we're gonna make for dinner, but let's do a tour. We've got a dining area. I haven't fully seen the house either, so we'll do this together. Ooh, I love the shape of this mirror. We got a big ass mirror right here. Over here. Oh, 
Ooh, this is very nice with a fireplace. It's so cozy. All the rooms have like a Roku TV so you can watch Netflix and things, which is great. I love the artwork in the dining room area. The living room is, oh my God, I love this coffee table. This is so pretty. It's huge and I love these books. This is the book that I have that's like Aspen, but they have one for all the different coasts and all these other areas. Obviously we got a neon sign. This must be the place. So cute, there's a guitar, a disco ball. I love the chair. I just love everything. It's like open. It's all one story. Like you need to see this. It like, it just goes on forever and ever and ever. I'll take you outside later. We've got the grill. Oh my God, there's more over here. There's like a grill and an outdoor section with two dining tables and a fire pit. I wish you could see how big this is in real life. A little table here. They did a really good job at decorating all the spaces. A little area here. You know what? Let's go outside now. I'm just so curious. Okay. We got a giant pool, which I cannot wait to lay in these chairs all day long. It's like the biggest backyard I've ever seen in my life. It extends all the way around the house. I don't even know what's over here. Oh, just like a huge area. Are you kidding me? This is so big. Oh, the, the dust is getting in my eyes. There's like, oh, there's cornhole. There's all these awesome games. It goes all the way around there too. And then all of these fire pits light up. We got a jacuzzi, a pool more lawn chairs. Oh, I'm getting winded just walking around the house. There's like outdoor furniture here and a hammock over there. Let's go back in. Hi! You can't see her. I'm getting winded just walking around. Oh. No, I haven't gone in yet. Oh my fucking. Which one? Oh, did you did you fall? <laughs> We've got a pool table. We've got like a little bar. Treat yourself. Okay. Thank you for the thank you for the note. <gasps> That's how you like blow your knee. What is this? Oh a oh my god, washer dryer. There's two washers and two dryers. I mean you gotta have enough room for everybody. We've got a shower bathroom in there, bedroom here. How many bedrooms are there? I don't know, I've literally one, one, two, I can't even count There's either. Eight bedrooms. What the heck? Oh, I what is gonna yeah. do? <laughs> okay, we got the step. <gasps> wow, this is really cool. It's like a very cold temperature. Love it. Bathroom, gorge. Ash, she, she likes cold. She gets hot, she gets a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving that in. This is a giant game room, like huge. This couch looks super comfy. Two beds over there. Oh my God. Damn it. Damn it. She got too much power. This looks like a cafe with like all the little yeah, tables. Yeah. <laughs> we should serve people food. <laughs> all right, in here, there was a bathroom. I ran in here and peed after we drove. Another bedroom here. Beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> Most importantly, our room. We've got some beautiful Address chairs. <laughs> Address the drama. Address the drama. Of the rooms. Of why Cal isn't here. Oh yeah, tell them why. I was like, Cal, I know you love your girlfriend, but like, I need bestie time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, Cal would actually rather die than go to a country music festival, but also I that too. He should just stay here. He, and like, he should have just like, the, like not, this. Not, okay, we got a TV. I got my cowboy hats here, and then apparently there's a closet that Alicia unpacked in. <laughs> what? Oh my, I never she never that. unpacked. We've got our bathroom. We each get a sink, and then a big bathtub. Wow, this like quick house tour has become ten minutes because no, it's literally. so big. Okay, enjoy your shower. Love you, bye. Let's carry on over here. Basically, another bedroom with, whoa, four beds. These are giant bunk beds. This is great. I had a bunk bed once when I was a kid. And then if you walk over here, this is actually how Shane and my rooms were laid out when we were kids. You share a bathroom and then you got another room over here. And then I think that might be all the rooms in the house. All right, guys, that was a very extensive house tour. I hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm gonna go sit and Watch TikToks. Hi guys, it's the next day. I completely lost you. I just found you on a random table. Everybody's cheering. Everyone's here now. Yesterday, Alicia and I went to Costco, got all the food for the house, and then we just chilled. We woke up this morning, got our wristbands, and then now we're having breakfast. Let me show you. Oh yeah. Little assembly line. We got avocado, eggs, bacon, cheese, a croissant. This looks so good. We are ready. The few that are ready early. We got Dan. We got Rem. We got Loach. We got Pranav. We are wearing our fits. I love it so much. Let me show you in this mirror real quick. Okay, I really won't do the accent too much. Uh, but once I'm drunk, I can't tell you what's gonna happen. But here is the fit. I'm wearing my wide calf black 
boots that I got on, I think on Zappos, I want to say. I uh, know I just Googled wide calf cowboy boots because obviously we got wide calves and they came up with these and they're comfy. I'm trying to break them in a little bit right now. I'm wearing this little skirt and this little top, both of which are from Princess Polly. I will say this top was supposed to like tie around my neck, but because my boobs are heavy, it was like causing my neck pain. So I made it a strapless top, love the little grommets. I thought maybe like it was a little too much grommets here on the shirt and skirt, but we're rolling with it. And then my hat is from Amazon and we are cooking burgers. I also did my makeup and I really like the way that it turned out. My hair, I feel so cute. We've got lunch, we've got uh, some tequila, burgers, lettuce, we got papaya, that's for Loshi and I, tomatoes, onions, and gorge. So here's my speech. Oh, bitch. I love you. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my speech. We are pre-gaming right now in this cup. I have Tito's and the guava liquid IV and water, and it tastes really good. And I'm enjoying my drink here, just chilling by the pool. We've been making TikToks, partying. Thomas has arrived. Yeah. Mmm. Guys, vlog, say hi. I think your finger covered the fucking flesh. Well, thing. it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Wait, how do I hit record? Oh, this is like dirty. Oh, I gotta yeah, clean them. Hey, yeehaws, we're back here at the entrance for the third time. I think I'm drunk. Technically, this is the seventh time we're entering this entrance in the matter of three weeks. But we are back. Oh, I just saw a man spit. We're at the Ferris wheel. We're taking pictures. Let's go, bitch. Hot bitch. One, two, three, four. Hot bitch. Hot bitch. Yes. Look at her go. Her on the floor right now. This is a good friend. That is a good friend. Alicia knocked my hat on the ground. And Tommy picks it up and starts going like this. Manager of the year. This top that is from White Box. Oh, actually, please. I didn't hear what you said. Thank you so much. Hat, Alicia. Top, top, White Box. Belt, also Alicia. Skirt is from White Box. It's super cute. And then these boots are, again, my white calf boots from Zappos. Wait, Tommy, it's a vlog. You went vertical. I only did it one second. I did one second. <laughs> hey, y'all. We're here. Tell, but you can obviously tell we are home. We miss you, Cal. Hello. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back from stagecoach. I ended up coming home on Sunday morning because my lungs over the past three weekends had ingested so much dust and I was ready to come home. Got back Sunday night and then Cal and I finished watching The Ultimatum, which if you guys haven't watched it, as you guys know, Cal and I love reality TV, especially like reality TV dating shows. And we loved The Ultimatum. It's on Netflix. We finished that. We also caught up on Moon Knight, which we're all caught up on, which is on Disney Plus if you haven't watched it. I took my extensions out because they had grown out so much 
and we're going to move them back up soon, but my hair has grown immensely. Other things that we've done since then, we gave Momo a bath, hello. I just unboxed all of the PR packages that were sitting by the front door, sorted through those, and now we're having some dinner. Oh, by the way, it's the next day. Here's what we got, we got some sushi. Cal and I love sushi so much. I got a spicy scallop hand roll. We both got a tiger roll, which is like a shrimp roll. He got a salmon avocado roll. We got some mussels and then some nigiri here. We've got toro, uni, and salmon. So, I know the past few vlogs have been a lot of partying in the desert and it's been a lot of fun and I'm gonna be fully honest, the partying is not over yet. I also wanted to come home a little bit early to give myself a little bit of a break before Cal and I leave for Vegas in a few days. We're officially going on Cal's birthday trip because I know Cal's birthday was a few weeks ago. It's been a while now, but obviously I've been so busy working and gone that we haven't been able to just celebrate the two of us. So we're going to Vegas and what are we doing, Cal? Go see uh, these guys. We're seeing Silk Sonic Live, baby. We've had this plan for so long and we're so excited. But yes, that's the updates for right now. I promise I'll have like a regular vlog before we leave for Vegas. And then after Vegas, I'm back in retirement, people. Hello guys. Okay, we ate dinner and I have two, that's four, two very exciting unboxings to share with you. One of which I did buy, one of which was gifted to me. I have never tried this out before, but I was incredibly excited. I was influenced by TikTok. What else is new when I saw this thing? So, if you guys have heard of the new face, I think that's what it's called. It's like a microcurrent little device where basically it'll snatch your face temporarily just for the day. It has something to do with the gel that it uses and then it helps like tighten your muscles. So like basically it'll carve out your face again just for the day. So people are going crazy for it. I did buy it and it was so expensive. I think it was like $400 or so, which is insane. And I bought it and then I never opened it because I realized how dumb it was to pay that much money for something like that. So we're returning that, but Therabody, which is the same company that makes their guns, came out with this tool, which is just as expensive, but instead of just doing one thing, it does like five or six different things, which I felt like was obviously worth more of the investment and specifically for one thing that I will tell you about. So I'm not being sponsored right now, I truly wish I was. Not only does this tool, here it is, it came in white and black. I bought the white one. Not only did it come with the little micro current thing, so you can do the snatching of the face, which I've never tried before, and if you guys want a first impressions, let me know. You have to use this like conductive gel with it, which it came with. So not only does it do that, it comes with like a little dock, so you can store it, very nice. And then it replaces a Clarisonic, so it's got this little brush head on there, a little silicone one, so you can cleanse your face with that. And then and this one right here, whoa, okay, obviously it vibrates like this, which is the whole point of a Theragun. There's three different settings for that. This one, oh yeah, it comes with like a little ring light, so I think this is good for whether it's like anti-aging, there's one for acne, there's all these different lights, which is really, really, really cool. So there's like a light ring, there's also a cool ring and a hot ring that you can add on, so like if you wanna ice your face, like I do in the morning, you can do it like that, which sounds really nice. And then, most importantly, why I purchased this and why I felt like it was worth the investment I suffer from PMJ. My jaw, if you can hear that. Sorry if that grosses people out. It's just like my jaw is out of place. I have really bad jaw issues. I get really bad headaches from it. I grind my teeth. It's really, really bad. I realized that this would probably be very helpful when I'm having a flare up. So I wanted to, oh, oh my God. Woo! <laughs> when it gets in your ears. Oh my goodness gracious, it tickles. But it feels so nice. It just relieves so much tension. Oh my God. Ooh, I keep getting chills. There's three different heads. This one's like the pointy one. There's a little rounded tip and then there's like a little rubber one. I need to read the instructions to see how to work this all. But wow, I will be honest, I have used a Theragun on my face before and it did hurt my brain. And this is much more gentle. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this all day long. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's what I bought. I'm gonna keep Keep trying it out. I'll give you a full review if you'd like, but right off the bat, it's already way better than that new face thing that was so expensive for no reason. And I love a seven in one product, especially because now I can store everything in here and then take it on the go with me. And it's so nice to have everything all in one. Wow, I'm so happy with this. You guys, I just used this for maybe like a minute on each side and I haven't felt this much relief in so long. Even like my jaw popping is quieter. 
All right, then the other thing that arrived, a company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their cookies, which I have seen these online for a very long time and apparently they're amazing. And even when Kel's mom came to town, she was like, oh my God, I've been trying to get on this wait list for cookies for so long. Have you tried them yet? And I was like, no, I haven't. And then they reached out the next week, which is so crazy. So this company, which you guys know, out of any dessert, I'm a cookie girl. I love cookies. These are from a brand called Last Crumb. So they come in this boot bougie bougie box and according to Cal's mom they're on a wait list it says open the damn box and when you open it oh my goodness here are our cookies I now see why there is a wait list we've got a bunch of different cookies here they're thick thick cookies each come individually wrapped like this so beautiful the names are really funny too there's like one called better than sex it's a chocolate chip not today mr. muffin man blueberry muffin we've got the floor is lava it's a chocolate lava cookie Cal's gonna go for that one. this one has my name written all over it birthday cake 50 cent that's what it's called Netflix and crunch cinnamon toast crunch salted caramel macadamia, Oreo milkshake, s'mores, Donkey Kong, which is a banana cream pie, red velvet, we've got the Madonna, which is a peanut butter, oh, I said that already, and then we've got When Life Gives You Lemons, which is a lemon bar, which I also really want. All right, here we go. Oh, I love all the like writing and text on the back too. A little ASMR moment. I love, it looks like it's like filled with something, it's so thick. I just cleaned this countertop, but I don't even care. Oh, wow. Mmm, this smell is really good. Mmm, that is so moist and delicious. I have to say, I'm not normally a big white chocolate girl, but this one's not too sweet. It's very mild. The whole cookie itself, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be really overly sweet and it's like a nice, soft, almost like a buttery flavor, like a caramelized butteriness. It's more subtle, which I really, really like. And they're dense, but they're still chewy, which is great. I will say it's so big. I think I'm done after this, but I will save her for tomorrow. And then the rest of the week, delicious. All right, guys, on that note, I uh, think I'll end the vlog because I pretty much have nothing else to do tonight than just probably watch more TV. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Stagecoach vlog. I know it was all over the place and I was very drunk, but I had a wonderful time and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye!